We serve the whole community. We strive to build grassroots power. We center intergenerational trauma and healing. We strive for racial and gender justice. Towards wellness for all, Sarpa Tapala. We are the Sacred Family Center. The health of any nation begins in the homes of its people. Six refers to a faith community but we're not a religious organization as understood by traditional Western culture. Sikhs are a people, a culture, and we reflect and serve a very diverse community. Ever since September 11, 2001, when Sikhs' unique identities, turbans, the beards, facial hair, became targets of increased hate and discrimination, ever since then, Sikhs organized to create powerful civil rights organizations across North America. But when we looked around, no organization was dedicated to promoting health and safety within the sick home. And so many intra-community issues, many internal issues to the community just proliferated, expanded, grew in the shadows. We often discuss at the Sick Family Center how the impact of violence in even one relationship ripples through many families, whether by marriage or birth, and can have devastating effects throughout the sick calm, the community. Violence often becomes intergenerational because research shows us that hurt children may hurt others when they become adults, continuing cycles over the generations. In the same way, however, healing too can be intergenerational. Many people we work with and work for have overcome deep pain, deep trauma, deep hurt in order to do important work of healing and have worked well with others precisely because they understand the pain. Hurt people can, in fact, support, resonate with, understand, and heal others. The health of any nation begins in the homes of its people. We envision a world where each family, by birth or otherwise, enjoys physical, spiritual, emotional health, and each individual is supported to reach their true potential. How do we do this? We provide intervention services with our nationwide private helpline. We develop and facilitate violence prevention and education programs and conduct outreach, training and technical assistance to sick and non sick organizations. I serve on the Sick Family Center Advisory Board precisely because they combine the intervention with lots of prevention work. Courts and law enforcement, in my opinion, come much too late in the game for people, especially for communities like ours. Starting from the grassroots of things uh, is not only beneficial for the individuals who need assistance, but also their loved ones. We connect individuals to resources. Where there are none, we create them. We listen to our people. For years we've heard, train our grunties, train them to respond to survivors of violence. So at early 2021, we released our Family Violence Resource Guide for Gurdwaras. Our Family Violence Resource Guide clearly outlines simple steps which Gurdwara leaders and committee members can take to increase safety for survivors. We work alongside Gurdwaras, offering them training to learn more about family violence. We give them information about local resources for survivors and resources created by Sikh Family Center, such as short videos and flyers with statistics about family violence in the Sikh community, which they can share with local Sangat. We also hear, talk to our youth, talk to them about consent, understanding boundaries, so several years ago, we developed our SAD series workshop that's focused on healthy boundaries and consent. It's youth led, which means young adults and college students can start conversations on their own amongst their peers using Sick Family Center's facilitator's guide and presentation. And during COVID, we adapted the workshop to be virtual, to be able to reach more sick youth so they can be informed and aware of resources, whether they were on a college campus or not. We also hear, how do we talk to our kids or how soon should we talk to our children about body autonomy? And Sick Family Center responded by creating resources, including a series on body autonomy to help encourage sick parents to have essential conversations with their children. The education work SFC does is driven by a commitment to love our community to change. Sometimes tough love, but love, not shame. I personally interned with the Sick Family Center as a high school student and thoroughly enjoyed focusing on health education and outreach with uh, folks of various ages and all backgrounds. The health of any nation begins in the homes of its people. We seek to build our strength inside out. 
At the same time, we rely on partnerships and collaborative networks of social justice and social services organizations much beyond the Sikh community across the United States. Because we recognize there are situations when solutions from within the community are just not enough. For example, where a particular community member conspires with an abusive person because of shared family ties or economic worth or other reasons. Sikh Family Center recognizes the unique needs of our immigrant community of color while refusing to overstate the challenges as unique only to the Sikh community. The idea always is to expand options, not to become so small or selective or specific or insulated that it hurts the community members and the people who we seek to assist. Serving means not imposing our ideas on how someone should act, rather meeting them where they're at with love. Just as all women do not want the same solutions, all Asian Americans don't want the same thing, all Sikh Americans don't want the same solutions or the same sort of reaction to even similar situations. Our individuality, our creativity, our shared humanity must be respected and protected, starting in our own homes. The health of any nation begins in the homes of its people. We are the Sikh Family Center. Satriyakal, truth is timeless.